Hey everyone, welcome to this brand new video where I'm going to walk through the configuration of WPA3 in Aruba Central for your WLAN. So right beside me, I've got this Aruba access point, the AP514, which is a Wi-Fi 6 access point with the external antenna connectors. And what I want to do is show you first what I have as far as my SSID configuration. So here using Wi-Fi Explorer, I have an SSID called SuperNet. You could see that it is configured currently for WPA2. So what we want to do is make sure that this is configured for WPA3. Now to do that, we're going to head over to Aruba Central here. And what's really neat is the dashboard itself, the Aruba Central dashboard, makes it easy to manage your Aruba, uh, your Aruba installation, those instant APs. Now you have an access point that's going to act as a master controller, which I only have a single one right now. So this one right here will act as the master controller. The Aruba Central dashboard will connect to that controller and push the configuration. So what we're going to do is in Aruba Central, I will head over to devices. You want to make sure you're in the right group to do this. And you could see that if I right here, I'm already in there, but you would want to click config in order to head over to this configuration section under access point and WLANs. Here I have my SuperNet SSID that I've already created beforehand. And you can see the security type is set to WPA2 pre-shared key or PSK. So in this case, I'm going to head over to the right and then click on this this icon right here, which is the pencil, which I'm going to edit the SSID. So with this, we want to then head over to security. That is where we want to be, uh, be able to configure WPA3. And, uh, we go ahead and do that. And you can see the security level that I have set here is currently set to enter uh, personal. I mean, if you if you were doing enterprise such as 802.1x, you would have it set to enterprise, but I'm just using a pre-shared key at this point. And then down here under key management, that's where we're gonna modify that to WPA3 personal. So you can see it's going to keep the same password that I have set the uh, passphrase format, my password that I have configured here. If you expand advanced settings on the bottom, you can see that by default, it is going to enable WPA3 transition. Now, this is good for the devices that do not have WPA3 enabled or the WPA3 capability on the device and so they'll they'll be able to associate or join to the access point but by using wpa2 instead so i'll show you this and the differences if we hit save settings and what we need to do this seems like a bug because it's saying it's it's configured this ssid dnet even though we have configured an ssid called supernet so what we do now is go back to Wi-Fi Explorer and you can see here, this has now changed. This used to say WPA2 and that change took right away. It now says WPA2 slash WPA3. And the, the details of this, if we just select one of these BSS IDs and then head over to the advanced section, and again, I'm using Wi-Fi Ex Explorer Pro, under the RSN information element, you should be able to see under the auth key management suite list that PSK is there and so is SAE or simultaneous authentication of equals. I think that's what that stands for. Uh, and, and both WPA2, WPA3 are enabled because that is the transition mode. It allows a mixed mode environment where devices that do support WPA3 will use WPA3 and those that support WPA2 will use WPA2. Now, if you wanted to only support WPA3, let's say this is what you wanted to do, you would go over to the SSID under the settings and head over to the security section. And under the advanced settings section, then you would just 
disable WPA3 transition. And then you hit save settings. You should push that over to your uh, master controller. And then all we got to do is wait for this to change. I'm not sure how long it will take. So there it is. It's now changed to just WPA3 as you can see here. This means that any device that does not have the capability of supporting WPA3, it will not be able to associate to this access point or this BSS ID or SSID. So now you can see under the advanced details, the auth key management suite list, you do not see pre-shared key there anymore, which was for WPA2. You have this auth key management suite, which is for WPA3. So that's how you configure WPA3 on your Aruba access points in Aruba Central. If you have any questions or if you are using WPA3, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.